This video is just an extension to the theoretical and practical lesson provided by Iron and Dodgy on last Sunday's pre-deployment training night. From my understanding, the method in which to plot eight-figure grid references uh, was understood but for some reason overlooked. So I determined from the little bit of time I spent with my own group and some of the minor problems trying to teach plotting eight figure grid references in the field, I would put together this hopefully small video that helps uh, make that understanding clearer so what I still feel is necessary for people who, who haven't touched on this sort of navigation before, uh, that we, we would talk about some of the terminology or map terminology that relates to plotting grid references of any type before we move into the actual plotting of the eight figure grid reference. On your map, and should be con hopefully will be contrasted quite clearly on this video, you see lots of these grey lines intersecting each other. Those lines are called grid lines. The lines that run top to bottom. under the numbers at the top of my map, 0, 7, 0, 8, 0, 9, 10, 11, 12, so on and so forth. Those lines are called eastings. So if you see a line running from top to bottom, that's called an easting. It is not called a northing, even though logic demands that it might or should be called that. It is called an easting because Collectively, the lines are running from west to east. And more specifically, they're called eastings because when you plot points on a map, those points will often always be east of the closest easting grid line. That will make sense soon. Similarly, the lines that run from left to right and then go up the map are called northings. Just like eastings, they're called northings because the lines collectively move up the map to the north. But more, more importantly, they're called northings because when you're plotting a grid reference, the plots will always be north of the northing line. Again, during the demonstration that will become more clear. Where two eastings and two northings intersect, as I'm marking it here, in this case easting 1, 3 and 1, 4 and northing 1, 8 and 1, 9 is called a grid square. Now, as I said, anything we mark within this grid square as a grid, grid reference will be east of 1, 3, of, of the 1, 3 easting, and north of the 1, 8 northing, hence the term easting and northing. In this map, like a lot of maps to do with armor and in real real life navigation, a grid square, uh, and in, well, specifically in this case and for this campaign, a grid square is a thousand meters by a thousand meters. That is reinforced by a scale that you can find down the bottom right of your map, which at this zoom multiplication 
indicates that from this point to this point is 500 meters. Only that if I bring, again, apologies for the contrast and contrast problems. If I bring the scale up to, to one of the grid squares, you'll see that it is indicating to me that that length there is 500 meters and compared against, against the grid square itself, it is exactly half of its width, meaning that uh, that's true, that this grid square is a thousand meters. If I zoom in, armor, unlike real life, affords me the ability to see subdivisions of that 1,000 by 1,000 meters into smaller grid squares of 100 meters by 100 meters. Obviously, 10 times 100 meters is 1,000 meters, so it's always multiples of 10. What I can't do is zoom in anymore to show you that obviously if I subdivided the 100 meters by 100 meters, I would get subdivisions of 10 by 10 meters. And the reason I've shown you this is that at the point where we've subdivided down to 10 meters by 10 meters, that is how accurate an eight figure grid reference is intended to um, indicate on a map an area down to 10 meters by 10 meters. So as you can imagine from that, an eight figure grid reference is all about accuracy. If we move back up to 100 meters by 100 meters, that is more or less just an indication of an area like a town or other significant point of interest where accuracy is not as important. And moving back up to a grid square, accuracy is definitely not important and a grid square or a group of grid squares is more necessary just to indicate an area of, of a large area of a map where more precise grid references might be used. Okay, so moving on to the actual plotting of an eight-figure grid reference. What we need to do to, in order to do that is obviously have the eight-figure grid reference ready to be plotted. In this case, I've uh, chosen the following grid reference. One, three, five, seven, one, eight, nine, or four. And you can see that on your screen now. The other thing we need to do in order to be able to plot that accurately within any particular grid square is our map tool. Now, we all know that there's two particular map tools at your disposal, the large one like this, or a much smaller one. Either or, doesn't matter which one you use, because on each one anyway, is what we have at our disposal, which is this, this um, little indicator here, which is the tool that we're gonna use on this particular map tool, or protractor as it's sometimes called, in order to plot the eight-figure grid reference. The problem with the way the protractor is now is it needs to be orientated accurately north-south in order for this tool to make sense or to be used properly. And from what I learned on Sunday night, I think it was from Leroy, a self-interact will help us do that. So you go to map tools and you go align map tool to north. Let go of that and it accurately lines itself up uh, vertically and uh, will be exactly the same orientation as, as an easting. And that's important because that means that this tool is now the right orientation for us to accurately mark our grid reference on the map. Now, with any grid reference, a grid reference is simply a group of numbers that indicate an easting coordinate and a group of numbers that indicate a northing coordinate. 
and together where they cross is where, you, where your grid reference will be. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the numbers that indicate Eastings. And in this particular case, they are the first four numbers, 1, 3, 5, 7. They are our Easting coordinates. So we already know that our 1, 3 is here in the, in the form of an Easting grid line. To find the 5, 7, we now bring, need to bring our protractor over and make sure that the number 5 plus 7, and these subdivisions are 2, so you've got to find in some, somewhere in between 6 and six and 8. So we need to move 5, 7 over the 1, 3 easting to give us 1, 3, 5, 7. But that's only the first part. Next part we need to do is the northing coordinates. And in the grid reference that was given, those are the figures 1, 8, 9, and 4. So we already know that our 1, 8 is this line here. That's our 1, 8 northing. Now we need to move the protractor up until we get 9, 4, the last two parts of the northing, on the 1, 8 northing grid line. So we need to move it up like that. And now we can see that our eastings are correct. We have 5, 7 on our 1, 3 easting. And we have 9, 4, 9 or 4 on our 1, 8 northing. And what that has achieved for us is that we can now assume that whatever is under 0, 0 is the actual point that we were trying to achieve with the grid reference. This is our intersection. In real life, on a real protractor, you may find that there's a hole drilled through in the factory where zero, zero intersect. And the reason for that is that your HP pencil, if anybody remembers what one of those is, will be poked through that hole and very gently a mark will be left on the map that once you pull the protractor away you'll be able to see where your grid reference lies. Luckily for us in armor we could do something similar just put our cursor over zero zero give it a double click change it to something else significant into the description we'll actually put the grid reference so we're not confused like that and if we move our protractor away we've found that we have plotted our eight figure grid reference. One, three, five, seven, that's the easting, by one, eight, nine, four, and that's the northing, and where they've intersected is our grid reference. And obviously, other marks other grid references as indicated in your patrol orders may form a complete patrol route all of which would be other eight figure grid references so hoping this has been helpful and uh, if you have any questions Sure, the admins will be uh, available to answer them. Cheers.